Welcome back. It's Monty. It's Shadow Park. It's Geometry. Now, this week we've been using the mirror in the classroom. We found out how tall this ceiling was. We found out how tall the third floor at Shadow Park was by not going over there using mirrors. Now, let's do some real world math and go outside and try to calculate how tall the Shadow Park water tower is. Serious, without knowing anything. Let's see what we can do here. So, real world math, similarity. If I know how tall I am, six feet, and I know how far I am from the edge of the shadow, then we could measure to the edge of the water tower and we can calculate the height of the Shadow Park water tower. So, let's recap. In a second here, we're gonna run outside, the sun is shining, and we're going to go get some measurements. What measurements do we need? We need Monty's height right here. We're going to need to know how far Monty is from the tip of the shadow. So when the sun shines on the water tower, it casts a shadow. From this point to this point, we need that distance. And then from this point to the edge of the water tower, once we have those measurements, we can calculate the height of the water tower. Cool? All right, so let's head outside, get those measurements, and then we'll come back to the classroom and get that final calculation. All right, so see you in a minute. Okay, everybody, hello, it's Monty, it's Shadow Park, and here we are with real world math. The water tower, the sun's shining down, cast a shadow. If I go strategically locate myself, over by that shadow so that the shadow of the water tower reaches the top of my head, then we can calculate the height of the Shadow Park water tower. So come on over. Let's see if we can do this. See you in a minute. Okay, everybody, it's Monty. It's Shadow Park. It's geometry. And here we are at the library on a sunny day. Snow's starting to melt. And we are going to strategically locate ourselves in such a way so that the tip of my head is at the tip of the shadow of the Shadow Park water tower. By doing that, we can get a couple extra measurements and we'll be able to calculate the height of the Shadow Park water tower. So let's go do this. Okay, so you'll see me run out here right now. And you can see my shadow. Tip, tip, angle it up. If I know that distance and I know my height, I'll calculate the distance to the water tower and we'll be able to find the height of that water tower. So, we'll see you back in the classroom. And we'll go calculate that height. See you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So here we are. Just got back from the Shadow Park. It was a sunny Friday afternoon and we got some measurements. Now, first thing we did, we had to strategically find out where the shadow was landing. You saw how difficult it was because of the time of day and how low the sun is. We had to stand in that flower bit. So we're probably off a little bit there. Then, we had to go all the way over to the water tower and then there was a big dip. So we're probably off a little bit there, huh? Okay, but our measurements are, I'm six feet tall, I was 10 feet from the edge of the shadow. From the edge of the shadow to the water tower was 250 feet. We're off a little bit because we had a flower bed here and those shrubs were in the way. We're off a little bit here because there was a dip, but that's okay we can still get a rough estimate on how tall the Shadow Park water tower is from our math, okay? So, we know because of similarity, six goes to the 10 as X goes to the 250. I come up with 125 feet. The water tower is 125 feet tall, over 12 stories. 
But in reality, according to the internet, Shadle Park Water Tower is 154 feet tall. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're getting a kick out of this real world map. Now my challenge to you is, go out to your yard, find a tree, a basketball hoop, the height of the, the roof on your house, do some real world calculations and bring them to the classroom. All right, so thanks for participating. It's February, spring is on the way. See you in the classroom.